So if we take a look at the next layer up, we're going to talk about the application layer. Now notice that I skipped right over layers five and six, but I didn't really because a lot of times the application data is going to have a format. That's the job of layer six. And it's going to have some kind of session management built into the actual application itself, and that's layer five. So when you look at the application layer, you got to be a, a little bit more open-minded, and you're definitely going to be talking about very logical concepts. We've pretty much lost all connection to the real world. We don't have a connection really directly to the operating system anymore. We certainly don't have a direct connection to the switches or routers, hubs, gateways that got the message here. This is really all about the message itself. So in layer seven, you're going to see the message that we intended to carry, these two applications talking to one another, in other words. And you're also going to see the presentation. Could be GZIP, could be uh, TLS, formerly known as SSL. There's a lot of different ways to present the data. And you do not have to use one particular presentation. You could zip up a Word document, so the zip is the presentation, it's the, it's the encoding. And then you can send the zip file over a web connection because someone downloads it, and that might be gzipped itself. And so there's another encoding, and then that entire transmission might be sent over HTTPS, which is encryption, encrypted, encryption, right? So that is another encoding. So the presentation layer is basically responsible for the encoding of the data, at least conceptually anyway. Now again, the, the application is doing all of it. So in real life, you may prefer to think of it as the application layer is doing all three. But that's the conceptual <coughs> mapping back to the OSI model. And then in the layer five, your session management, that's going to vary greatly from application to application. But um, the web is the certainly the one that people would be most familiar with because even the average person has a general awareness that there's things like cookies that carry um, their information after they log in and stuff like that, even if you don't know what's in a cookie or, or what they're really used for. They do taste good. So the uh, application layer obviously has all the app data as well, not to, not to lose the most important part <laughs> of, that, of that layer. In this example here, we can see that the application layer started, in our case, immediately after the end of the TCP because the TCP is carrying the HTTP in this particular example. If you go into Wireshark, open up any one of the PCAPs and click on the HTTP line or whatever your application layer is in the packet that you choose, maybe it's an email packet or an FTP packet, Samba or some other protocol, Click on one of those, and you'll see that that data starts immediately right after your layer four protocol. So here we have the get because this one happens to be an HTTP packet. And if you look at the at the very first number, the 47, that's the ASCII representation for the capital letter G. 45 is E, and 54 is T, and so on and so forth. If you look over in the right-hand pane, you can match that up with the raw output over in the right-hand side of Wireshark. So any questions on layer seven, six, or five, or application layer in general? All right, so here's an entire packet that's been put together, <coughs> at least diagrammically anyway. And so the important takeaway from this is that all the data is really going across the wire in a straight line. It's not actually nicely, neatly organized in rows like, uh, like we'll see in our tools. And also notice that every layer is responsible for getting this pack, these packets a part of the way across the internet. So the layer two is gonna let us get from our computer to the same, a different computer on the same subnet or to the switch. And then layer three is gonna let us get from our router to ultimately the router of the network that we're trying to get to. And that may pass through a bunch of other routers to do it. And layer four 
it's going to let the operating system know which program is going to get that data that's coming in on this shared network interface. And then, of course, the application layer, the point of it all is to get that data to the application at the other side.